Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12 battery life has been okay. And I've been on the beta since the original one. And I wanted to talk about it because it's calculated completely differently, but the betas usually are not as good as the final release. But a lot of you have been asking me to talk about how battery life has been overall. So now we're on iOS 12 developer beta 12. So I've been on every single one of those on this device and a few others, my iPad included. I'll talk about that in a moment, but on the iPhone 10 battery life has been okay, especially with this latest beta, at least for me. Now, if you look here, currently I have 16% battery life left. Now I unplugged this, see it's 1 36 AM. I unplugged this at 5 30 AM yesterday. So I've actually been up that entire time for the most part and unplugged it and it's lasted this long. Now I haven't had this under heavy use, but I haven't charged it during that time either. So if we go to settings and then go to battery, battery is measured very differently in iOS 12 than it is in iOS 11. It actually shows you full charge, which is right here. So you'll see the little charge arrow there or, or icon rather that's a full charge. Then it starts to drain and then it just shows you the drainage. Now this shows you the actual screen on time during that amount of time and that I might've used it, but then also screen off 12 minutes. So it hasn't had a ton of activity, but it's been doing things on and off quite a bit. So you'll see 22% of my activity during the last 24 hours was YouTube studio. Mail was 13% Twitter. And if you tap on show activity, it'll tell you actual time. Now I know that's not a lot, but we can take a look at how it's been over a while for the last 10 days. And that will give you a better indication. So you'll see right here, average is two hours and 44 minutes, sometimes more, sometimes less. And this is not anywhere near the same as what the usage time was in iOS 11, where it would just say usage nine hours. I would get nine hours on this device. No problem. That is not the same thing. This is actually picking it up, turning it on, checking Twitter, shutting it off and doing that over and over and over, maybe using it for music, maybe sometimes navigation. There is no usage time down here, so it's not as easily calculatable. But what I can say is it easily gets me through a day. So showing you right here, I haven't had it on the charger at all. And you can see that right here. Like I said, right here, I haven't plugged it in. You would see it if it was plugged in. So it hasn't been plugged in at all. It got me through the whole day. That's really what I care about. Now, just to show you that the actual time doesn't really make much of a difference. Here's my iPad pro. This is the 12.9 inch iPad pro. You'll see my screen on time was one hour, 15 minutes. That's because I was probably using YouTube and 52 minutes of that was YouTube, 21 minutes of Safari and a minute in messaging. That doesn't mean that the battery depleted that much over that time, because you can see here's the actual battery where it's full. It was charged here. It's full. And then it starts to deplete a little bit over the time that I've used it. We're currently at 88%. So based on that, it's, it's just showing me screen on time for the last 24 hours, not total usage, not what the battery will last, just the screen on time. And you can see here, this was doing a lot of background activity. I have nothing shut off. I leave background app activity on, on everything except for Facebook for the most part. So if we scroll down, you'll see I'm playing music, uh, 27 minutes in the background, maybe in the car, something like that. And I think you get the idea of how that works. So battery health is a hundred percent on this one. Uh, you can't see battery health on an iPad, but hopefully that clarifies it a lot. I really don't pay attention to my battery unless it gets really low and then I need to charge it. And honestly, it lasts me through the day. So this is a little bit confusing still. And I wish they would bring it back to have us more easily compare it to what we had before. Yeah. But some people are saying they're getting six hours here. Some people are getting seven. So what I'm going to do is run a test and just see how many hours I can keep the screen on and see what it will deplete in. But I wanted to talk about this battery and how you kind of read the usage because yes, it depletes over that time, but that doesn't mean it will only last two hours and 45 minutes on the charge. If I had the screen on, if I leave the screen on, maybe I was using YouTube in that amount of time. I could keep YouTube going for hours. So I'll probably try and do that and see how that works out uh, when the final version is out and we can test battery on the final version, see what kind of hours we're getting. So don't say, or don't take this 
as that's all you can get is two hours and 45 minutes where before you were getting eight hours. It's not the same thing. But on the iPad and iPhone, this will get me 10 hours, no problem watching video. This will get me usually, well, through a day, no problem. I just wish it was calculated a little bit differently, more like it was before, although I do appreciate an accurate screen on time. But let me know your experience in the comments below. This is pretty low from what I'm hearing. I'm, I use my phone a lot as far as notifications go. I look at it and then I may jump to an iPad or a Mac. So it just depends. I'm, it's a little bit different for me. But let me know your experience in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. I'll link the wallpaper in the description as I always do. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. Thank you.